In today's session, we are going to talk about a very painful topic, and this is duplicated records. Leads and contacts that are already in your system will come in as new leads, they will create duplicates, and therefore you have multiple individuals from your company working on the same person. Very, very bad. In this session, I will show you how to eliminate this problem and also how to fix existing duplicated records. Before we begin with the session, if you find this session helpful, please smash the like button. It will help me personally and it will also remove my annoying marketer off my back. We are going to start a journey with the first item, one out of seven. And the first item is that when leads are coming from different sources, they can be created in the CRM or they can be updated in the CRM. There is a command in Zoho CRM named Absurd. And when you upsert, it will just update. But there are problems with both of those options. And of course, I will show you the right way to do it. So the first one, if a lead is being created, and in this case, Leonardo DiCaprio is already a lead in my system. And once I will submit this lead, it's supposed to create a duplicate in my system because it will be created. And that's one problem. I will have two records of Leonardo DiCaprio. From the other side, if the lead is updated, that means that I will not even know that this lead was submitted because it will update an existing lead in my system, but I will get no notification and I will have no clue that this lead was updating an existing lead. So in both cases, it's a loser. It's or I will have duplicated records or I will ignore Leonardo DiCaprio. In this case, if I will submit this lead, you can see that in my CRM, I will just go to the leads, you will see that Leonardo DiCaprio is here, but I will have here a follow-up reason, which is a field that I created. I will see that there is a duplicated lead submitted from the website and it's telling me which website. And also it will load the next follow-up. For people that have our leads system, and this is our lead system, you can see that this next follow-up is showing me when I need to take care of this lead, and that is today. And it will also show you the follow-up reason is why I need to take care of it. And those, of course, will update me about when leads are coming in, when emails coming in, when I'm getting a correspondence from text messages, social media posts, everything will be in one place. So we upgraded this system and we also show you that a duplicated submission was created. If you don't have our system, it's fine. You can still create the next follow-up and the follow-up reason, and you can uh, have the follow-up reason with the lead. In order to do it, you will need to have a small script that is checking when a new lead is submitted, and then it will check in your contacts and your leads, and it will update the follow-up reason for the ones that are existing in your system. So this is option one, when leads are getting in, and therefore it will not create duplicate using the created, it will not absurd, which means it will just update an existing lead without your knowledge. It, here, it will update the reason, and it will tell you that you have an existing lead that you need to attend to. Next, we are going to point number two. Point number two will be a simpler option to the previous one which means whenever a lead is being created on your system, a script will determine if the lead is an existing lead or existing contact, and if it is, it will send an email to the owner of the lead. As an example, let's assume that Eddie Murphy is already in my system, and Eddie Murphy will, will send a new lead to my system. The script will check if this email address exists in my CRM, and if it is, it will send Jeff Mann an email and it will tell him that Eddie Murphy just submitted a second lead and he needs to check it out. We're just basing everything on an email that will send you a notification whenever a duplicate is created. The next option is for people that do want to have multiple leads but not duplicates. Let me explain. So let's assume that I have a cosmetic surgery clinic and I will have multiple services. Let's assume that John is right now filling a lead for our Botox services, and that will be created as a new lead. 
but from the other side, in a week from now, it will send another lead for laser air removal, which is a different service. And therefore, I need this lead to be twice in the system so I can create two different opportunities from it. There are two ways to approach it. One way is that we are checking, for example, that the service is different. And if the service is different, it will create a duplicate lead, basically two leads. But if the service is the same, then we are working in the same way and we are creating just a message that the same person with the same service wants to talk to us and then we need to come back to it. We can also do it in different time frame. For example, if the lead was created in the past 10 hours or 24 hours, this lead will be considered as duplicate and then this message will appear. From the other side, if the lead was submitted a few days later, then I will create another lead and I will not run it this way. Next, we are going to talk about what happens when you do have duplicates in your system and you don't have any of the scripts that I just mentioned. Let's assume that I am duplicating Leonardo DiCaprio right now. Let's clone Leonardo and save. So now in my system, I will have two Leonardo DiCaprio and I will have here one and two. And in case that I like to merge one of the records, I will click on one of them. I will go to the right side, I will click on the three dots, and then I will click on find and merge duplicates. In this case, you will have here a bunch of criteria that the system will search. Now, in many cases, in real systems, obviously this is a fake system, you will have here a bunch of records and it's overwhelming and too much to read. In my case, I will see that DiCaprio is probably a unique last name, so I will turn all those off and you turn them off by clicking on none. So in this case, if I will just search based on the last name, you will see that I'm getting two records and then it will filter in a nicer way. I will select the records that I want to merge and you can do up to three of them and then you click on next and the system will present you here the data. Now, the data here obviously is the same because I duplicated the records, but in some cases you will have different data and the system will provide you which value you want to use from the same systems. In this case, for example, as you see the follow-up reason is new lead created or duplicated. I want to click on duplicated lead and then I will click on merge. Once you click on merge, the record is in your system and you cannot go back. So it's important that you read carefully the data and once you want to merge, you click on merge. When you go to the system, you will see that only one Leonardo DiCaprio is in your system. Let's create another clone of uh, Leonardo. Okay, and let's click on save. And another way that you can run duplicates is you go to the module itself, you will go to action, and then you will click on the duplicate leads and you have it also in your contacts. Once you do that, the system is saying that it's, it can work on three different fields. I will choose the email, phone number and mobile, which those are most of the time the main uh, 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 fields. I will click here and now the system is starting to run the du duplicate process. It will be here. It's saying that a few duplicate leads have uh, been found, obviously. And let's click on resolve now. The system will show me all the ones that needs my attention. So obviously I have uh, this phone number twice, which is one of the uh, records. Also email and mobile will be there because all of them are the same record. If I will solve one, the other ones will be solved as well. And then we are running into the same screen. Once you click on merge, this record will be uh, uh, merged and you will have no more conflicts. You will see in any of them. And then you go to your emails and it's done. Until now, I showed you two different approaches. In the beginning of the video, I showed you how to prevent duplicates from the first place. The second part of the video, I showed you how to deduplicate records. Those are working as one. If you have duplicates in your system, 
Your system will be a place that you don't want to be in because you will feel that your system is crap and it's not fun to work on crap systems, okay? So it's important to work on that. From the other side, if you are a bigger company, you will have confusion with the team. You will have two different individuals working on the same person. Obviously, it's bad. You will have multiple emails being sent to people. Obviously, it's bad. So duplicates are the root cause of many conflicts in businesses these days. Our company Amazing Business Results is a premium Zoho partner. Obviously, we can help you with anything that you need related to your Zoho system. We can also help you with training. In the description below, you will find all the details that you need regarding our services. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, thumbs up is always appreciated. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next session.